colour, strength and zero ammonia all in one. It's time to get into the science of Clairol's brand new Colour Strong. Hello and welcome to the world of Craig. Yes, that's me, I'm Craig, and this is my channel where we get into all things hair and sometimes a little bit of beauty. If you didn't see it, about a month ago I made this, which is an overview video of the brand new Clairol's Colour Strong. Stronger hair with zero ammonia and multi-dimensional results. Amazing. I have partnered with them for the next six months to bring you education, primarily education and information about a really brilliant formula that I had tested extensively before agreeing to bring this content, to make this content and to partner with them. So this, as you've already seen, is going to be all about the science. And the thing I want you to sort of remember throughout this video is the pH of hair is extremely important. Now, that's enough of an intro. Let's get into the science. Just to mention that you can go and watch that overview video here on my channel. I will link it in the description, but of course you need to know the science. And there's an entire playlist of box dye. I use the words home hair colour. That's why the air quotes are there because box dye is not something in my vocabulary. I started making this content because I get sick and tired of people demonising home hair colour when there's a lot of great products out there. And of course, if you enjoy this video and find it helpful, you know exactly what to do. Now, let's talk briefly about the difference between ethanolamine, which is what's in this, because there is zero ammonia, and ammonia. So hair colour, any permanent hair colour, which is what Colour Strong is, needs an alkalising agent. If I pop my cross section of hair on the screen, Hair has a protective outer layer, a cuticle, okay? And in order to get colour pigment into the cortex, which is where colour pigment sits when an oxidisation process has happened, let's keep it very simple. There are more in-depth videos about permanent hair colour here on my channel that you can watch after this, that go into the science a lot deeper. But basically, in order to get those pigments in, you need something that makes the hair alkaline. Remember, pH, very important. So there are two main things that are used. There is either ammonia, which this has no, none of that in there. Clairol did some research and found out that their users wanted something that was ammonia free. So that's what the brilliant chemists have formulated. But ammonia, okay, is a gas. And then ethanolamine, which is what's in this, is an oil, okay? Both of them are very valid alkalizing agents. What I will say, and I do use ammonia-based hair colour in the salon, but I do also use ones that are MEE-based. But what I will say is, is that the actual process of that alkalisation in order to get the pigment into the hair is more controlled with ethanolamine because it's an oil. And so that means that it is slightly less volatile than ammonia. Both brilliant, but colour strong, as I've said many times, is zero ammonia. So now it's time to get really super sciencey. Oh yes, alpha hydroxy acids, AHAs. You may have heard of them in skincare. They've been around for a long time. I use skincare products with alpha hydroxy acids in. They are fantastic, but what they can do for hair is quite incredible. Now, Colour Strong contains alpha hydroxy acids at all three steps. Oh yes. <laughs> But what does it do for the hair? Well, alpha hydroxy acids are very clever and in Colour Strong, it's malic acid that they are using and that's in the formula and that is kind of like the hero of AHAs when it comes to hair because it's really fantastic at, at addressing pH, remembering that permanent oxidative colours, any permanent oxidative colour is going to have an effect on the hair, on the hair's pH. So that ingredient, the alpha hydroxy acids, helps to minimise damage, but also because of the three steps inside here that all contain AHAs, it also helps to repair damage by addressing the diasulfide bonds in the hair. They're the things that give hair, they're the things that give hair its strength. So inside the box, we have the primer. Okay, which this is all in my overview video as well. The primer goes onto the hair before and the AHAs in the primer, it's very easy to apply. 
They address things like minerals, hard water, and they also help to strengthen the bonds of the hair. This goes on before the hair color is applied, okay? So that means that you're prepping and priming the hair, dealing with that pH, chef's kiss. It's a really beautiful product to use as well. The texture is lovely. Then we have the color itself. As I've already said, to my knowledge, I don't know of any other home hair colors that use, that utilize AHAs in the formula. It's a really lovely uh, texture to use. It's really easy to work with, but that means that you have the primer on then you put the color on with more a AHAs. I mean, I guess the clue is in the name, color strong, and that helps to repair and protect the hair more. And then step three, which is the conditioner, which is a treatment which seals everything in, but again, with more repair from the AHAs. So it's an AHA powerhouse that whilst you're colouring your hair with zero ammonia, does some repair and keeps the hair strong. Can I close the box? There we go. Now, a science video wouldn't be a science video without an experiment, would it? No, exactly. And it's really important for me as a hair professional and somebody who is extremely 100% authentic that I show you the power of what this formulation can do, okay? I live in London, I'm here in London, yes. And the, the water here is very hard, which makes it very alkaline. And I know a lot of people deal with hard water. Hard water minerals can have an effect on the hair and the way that hair products take. You know, I use lots of things that chelate the hair, chelate the hair, however you want to pronounce it, that do remove minerals from the hair and address pH. So, inserted is the video here. The beaker contains water from my tap, just over there, which has a very alkaline pH. Into that same beaker, and you can see that from the little pH tests that you probably will know from your education or the things I have in my kit all the time because there's such handy things to have to test products out. Then I add some of the primer step, number one, and then I retest again, and it takes it to an ideal level for hair to be in its best pH state. So it makes it slightly more acidic. It does sound a bit counterintuitive that acidity or an acidic environment is better for the hair, but it is because the pH of our hair is 4.5 to 5.5, ideally. So that's incredible that that one step that you obviously use before you apply the color puts your hair into that acidic ideal state. Remembering that all three steps contain the AHAs to do, you know, to address the pH and to do that repair. Amazing. Two other things that need a mention. And the first one is, is that the pigments in Colour Strong are multi-dimensional. They're very translucent. It's not an opaque, heavy, dense, unnatural looking colour. You can get up to 100% grey coverage with it. Like I said, I have tested it and swatched it extensively. Insert swatches here. The colour, the results are beautiful, okay? Now, and of course they have that all that 90, over 90 years of experience of developing multidimensional hair colour that looks very natural but still gives you grey coverage, up to 100%. And then also, I just wanted to mention briefly, peroxide levels. If you are using a shade of Colour Strong that is deeper, it will have 20 volume oxygen in it. If you are using a Colour Strong shade that is lighter, it will have a 30 volume oxidant. Please don't believe misinformation out there. Not necessarily related to Colour Strong because it's a new product, but I see so much nonsense out there where people are just not telling you the truth. And I know from previous work, research and development work with other hair colour brands that you know, that is the case for a lot of what you would buy to use at home. I think sometimes people don't want you to colour your hair at home. But when there are products as brilliant as Colour Strong that repair, give you great results with zero ammonia, you know, and I am all about you having the best hair that you can have. So don't believe all that you hear. So that's it for our look at the science of Colour Strong. So much fun to make this video, research it and make it just, yeah really great. It is a really fantastic 
formula. If you have other questions on the science, I did do a lot of research for this video, so please leave them in the comments down below. And if you'd like to see a video that's all about how you could choose a shade of the 12 that are currently in the Colour Strong line, then let me know in the comments down below. But like I say, always on my channel, if you leave me a comment or a question, I can't tell you exactly what box to buy, and I can't give you an exact formula, but I will help you if I can, and I always reply. Once again, a huge thank you for watching this. If you found it helpful and enjoyed it, you know exactly what to do. You will take lots of care and I'll see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.